Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we are going to go ahead and take a look at this Heart Virus Goku. Um, a lot of people say he's the best banner unit in the game, so we're going to take a look at him in probably one of his better situations to see how well he holds out, right? So, and I do think he's a very, very good banner unit, and he's not a typical banner unit where they've been releasing mostly support units. And I like that they kind of changed it up and did something a little bit different, because you can't just make every unit a support unit, right? So... I like that they did a banner unit that was a little bit different, but still good enough to like stand apart from other units, kind of in his own way, right? So this Goku here, he's a turtle school leader of 130%, which isn't okay for like maybe a free-to-play player that like is really struggling for leaders, or like for Battlefield, he could be very decent, because turtle school has like every Goku, so it's a, not a bad leader skill at all. Um, so his super attack effect is he greatly raises attack, causes immense damage to the enemy, uh, well, with a high chance of sacrificing 7% HP. So he may or may not sacrifice HP. It's not guaranteed. 7% isn't the worst. I mean, if he double supers and does 14, like then that could be a pretty decent chunk. Um, but it is a pretty good way. Like I get what they're trying to do with this unit because this is the Heart Virus Goku, which during the Cell Saga, he's very powerful, but the virus is starting to take effect on him. So I get that idea that like, yep, sometimes he's taking damage from it. Sometimes he isn't. Uh, things like that. But he does have that attack raise, which is very good as well. So here's his passive, and this is what's going to make him so good. So he gets attack and defense 100% at the start of turn. He raises attack and defense by up to 200%. So the more HP remaining, the greater the boost. So he's going to work out better at full health, right? The more health you have. He gets key plus 5 and high chance of performing a crit plus 59%. Um, or sorry, chance of performing a crit plus 59%. Reduces damage by 59%. It has a 59% chance of performing an additional super attack for five turns from the start of turn. So, the reason why this guy is so good is that turn one, slot one, he's the type of unit that can defend in Super Battle Royale. His defense isn't going to like blow you away, but he has 59% damage reduction, which is a very significant number. Paired with any significant amount of defense is going to do wonders, right? So that's part of why he is so ridiculously good. He reduces damage by 59% when HP is 59% or less, plus an additional defense plus 59% starting from the 6th turn from start of battle. So, in a longer event, he's only going to get the damage reduction if he's lower on health, so I would say he's definitely not as good in a, in a longer event. But he is stacking attack, so he's going to get like a lot more offensively powered, but a little bit less defensively powered. So, in this video, what we're going to do for the showcase is I want to showcase him in an area where we can really showcase why people think he's so good, and that is that he can defend really well in difficult content early, in very, like shorter events. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna showcase him in Extreme Super Battle Road. So we are in Pure Saiyan's Extreme Super Battle Road. Now this is a stage that hits very, very hard, right? Um, and what we're gonna do is we're linking him up with STR Vegito, they share a lot of links together. So here we are, we're on turn three, and that's just because he ended up in a really bad slot. He was in slot seven. So this is my first turn with him. So the first phase is already almost dead. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put him in harm's way, slot one. We're not at max health. So this isn't the max defense. So he's got 113k defense, which once again, doesn't seem that crazy. But he has 59% damage reduction, right? So he's going to be looking pretty good because of the damage reduction. So we're going to take a look. And see how well he can defend here in slot one in extreme super battle road hopefully we take a super right away that would be really interesting just to see what we take all right we're going to heal up a little bit as well okay so like taking like almost double digit normals in slot one in extreme super battle road actually isn't bad at all so he was taking 10k there which isn't the worst considering this is pure saiyan's extreme super battle road which is a very very hard hitting stage um like, a lot of these stages, you almost have to use an item every turn, unless you have, like, a ridiculously defensive unit. So I would say this Goku's looking pretty good right there, right? The attack stat isn't anything to write home about, but I think the defense is what is so good about him, right? So we'll get some more turns here and kind of see how well he defends um, on this stage. But we want to kind of roll into the turn with, like, a lot of health. So what I'm going to do here, um, I guess I'm going to kind of leave this rotation as is. Um... Let's go ahead and just Ghost Usher this turn out. Just so that we know we're going to have a free turn with Goku on the next turn. Now, I'm going to try to heal up with orbs here as well. As much as I possibly can. Uh, we'll open that up. 
just to try to get us as close to full 100%. Oh yeah, it's not even going to let me grab that STR orb. That's fine. So we're we're almost at 100% health. Um, this Vegeta, by the way, Super Vegeta performs really well in Super Battle Road because he has the guaranteed crits and the guaranteed stun. It's just a one-turn stun, but like anything in front of him then won't attack. So like had I not Ghost Lessered, like he would have just taken out all those Gohan attacks afterwards, which is really, really good. Um, the, I love Super Vegeta. Very glad I got him Rainbow. He's a super good unit. unit. I really thought they were going to put Super Vegeta on the Trunks banner. It would have made sense because he's another Cell Saga unit. It would have been another way to like sell the Trunks more, but um, they did not. <laughs> um, okay, so here we are again. So now, granted, the rest of my rotation could be in trouble here, but we just want to take a look and kind of see like how well we can defend without items in Extreme Super Battle Road. So there he has 112k defense. Once again, uh, I don't expect to always take double digit normals with this guy, but like just the fact that we're not getting decimated, I think is a good sign. So we'll we'll continue to take a look here and see. All right, so let's see what we're taking here. Okay, so yeah, like about 10k. All right, let's see what a super does here. All right, 200k. Like, honestly, slot one in Extreme Super Battle Road, that's actually acceptable. Um, considering he just tanked that out, and I just missed the attack stat. We'll catch it here in a second. Um, okay, so yeah, like 2 mil, 2.2. Keep in mind, this is a 55%. So the thing is, is this guy, like, with dupes, is going to be really powerful because you could get that defense a little bit higher to pair with the damage reduction. It's going to be really good. So this is a guy that I would almost recommend putting like the, as many defense equips on as possible because the more you can raise his base defense, it's going to heavily impact that damage reduction. Now, like Vegito could get us killed here, which is fine. 124. Okay, we're hanging in there. We're just barely hanging in there. Don't know if we'll survive the turn here. If not, we'll jump into maybe some more footage in a different event just to take another look at him. Okay, so we died there. So what I'm going to do... I think I'm going to do a cut here and I'm going to go into Legendary Goku event where maybe we can just see him stack his attack a little bit. But I think I just wanted to show Extreme Super Battle Road right there just to show that like in that case, because you saw like how decimated the other units were from normals. Like what did we take 70k from a normal there? And like that Goku on the end isn't bad defensively. So to show that we're take, tanking like 10k normals in there is actually really, really good. So that's really the value of that Goku, right? But we'll, we'll jump into a Legendary Goku event here really quick. Actually, I probably won't even have to do a cut because I'm just basically talking right through it. So we'll just hop in here and take a, another look at um, Heart Virus Goku. Because he does infinitely stack attack if I read it right. I'll double check it. Um, oh, and of course, slot 7, back to back. Why not? Let's just do slot 7 every single time. Sure. That is just fine. We'll, we'll play it like that. But yeah, I'm pretty sure we'll double check him here. Uh, yeah, greatly raises attack. So, yep, he just stacks attack. So, we'll try him out and see how he handles a longer event here. So, we'll attack through with Super Vegeta. Um, I was really lucky because I really summoned very minimally on the banner, and I got a copy of each, which I'll take that and walk away and be perfectly happy. I got, um, I got the trunks on my ticket summons, which was good, or my ticket summon. It was just 120 ticket summon. And then I got the Heart Virus Goku. I did do the um, the discount multis because at the end you get a guaranteed feature. So I figured that would be worth it. And sure enough, my guaranteed feature was Heart Virus Goku. So I was happy to pick up one of each and kind of skate out of there, right? Okay. Um, I mean, these two as a rotation is pretty darn good. But I do want to link one of them up with Heart Virus Goku. So I'm going to hop one of them off here. And we'll just do that. Do that. Do that. And I think we'll probably take, well, if STR Vegito crits, we could take this Goku out. But if he doesn't crit, we might not. Um, but yeah, I'm getting pretty excited for Saiyan Day. I really am curious and want to know what it is. <laughs> a lot of people hoping for a God Goku. God Goku does seem actually somewhat likely just because... Evolution Blue Vegeta's Easy A. I guess Evolution Blue Vegeta's Easy A, technically, I don't think... It technically wasn't announced for Saiyan Day, but um, I think it was kind of implied that it's going to be Saiyan Day. I think a lot of us in the community truly believe it will be for Saiyan Day. And if that's the case with Evolution Blue Vegeta, I mean, God Goku fits in as like a Realm of Gods. Like, he would fit the theme of that, right? Okay, so 
Uh, here's our first turn, and like defensively, we're definitely going to be fine against this Goku. Yeah, 117k defense. Now, the thing that's going to be interesting is we're going to watch like as we get past turn six, how the passive will change then, right? And we'll double check it as we go through. Uh, but I am curious to see how this guy performs in a longer event. That will be interesting to see. Because once again, he's going to be losing the defense. Uh, he's going to be losing the damage reduction if he's above 59% HP. So we'll have to see how that comes through in the end here. All right, so we got that. So not much to see there, just like a 2 mil attack stat, right? Like his attack isn't going to be anything to write home about, but it's the defense. That's why we're there, right? Um, the nice thing is, is because I'm running the Gogeta and the Vegito, I could potentially transform with them to like purposely put Goku in front of a super. So that is good to know. I'm going to save that for later on. I don't want to do it this early. All right. So that's simply what we got this turn. But um, something I'm hoping for is um, I feel like they needed to do a little bit more. Like, so with the anniversary, right? Like, the theme was Goku and Vegeta, but there was almost like a side theme of GT and like movies, like Broly movie. So I kind of want, I guess they did put a Broly on the banner, I guess, as a banner unit. But like, I really want to see a full power, like standalone Dragon Ball Super Broly. I do feel like that's more likely to be as like a dual Dokkan Fest for like an anniversary or like a download celebration. But I would still take one. Um, someone on the podcast threw out the idea of a new Wrathful Bro Broly, which I could definitely see that. Because like that other Wrathful Broly we got, he easy ate on launch, which was really odd for a banner unit. And now he's like kind of a dead unit because he was really good on release, but like now he's like basically eternally dead because he can't ever get another power up, right? So we could get all seven links in the middle here, but um, we need to keep Goku in slot one because the enemy's going to die. So yeah, 100, 100k defense, once again, not the craziest, but paired with the damage reduction is quite good. So if Goku supers right away, I don't envision us taking much damage here, if any at all. Okay, so double digit normals, and then yeah, still at about 2 mil. Now, the reason the attack didn't go up like crazy there is because we weren't rocking support that turn. So the fact that the attack stat was similar without support tells me that the attack raising is working. Uh, we'll see that come through more on the next turn. All right. Oh, we just got active skills all over the place, don't we? <laughs> we won't pop these off just yet. I'm sure. Let's do that. Actually, version Z Goku. I actually forgot what his active skill does. I feel like it's maybe. Oh, he does a he does a Kamehameha, doesn't he? Yeah, I think he does a. I think he does a Kamehameha. I'll, I'll have to double check that. It's been a hot minute. Like version Z Goku. Like I I actually use him quite a bit, but I usually don't get to his um, active skill. He's usually just like my floating support, just kind of hanging around on stuff. But. Um, yeah, I might have to pop his active skill here. All right, so we'll get through this turn, and then we'll look at Heart Virus Goku. So far, though, like, so good. Like, you know, early match. But now I think this next turn is going to be the first turn where his passive switches up on us. So we're definitely going to take a note at how different he's looking here. And I'll double-check the passive before we go in. All right. Oh, we did take him out. Seriously. Okay. All right, so this will be a supported turn. Once again, 6 out of 7 links. 135k defense. So I did notice a little jump on defense there. So, uh, yeah, starting from the 6th turn, which we are at. So, he gets the damage direction only if he's below. And then he's getting an additional 59% defense. So that's the difference here is we're getting a little bit more defense from the passive. But now, he's not reducing the damage. So, like, right now in slot 1, if we got super right away, we probably would actually take damage. So I'll be kind of curious to see what that looks like. We'll do that we'll do that and then we're gonna watch the attack stat here we should be well over two mil now because we've got support and we've been stacking so let's see yeah 2.5 so by the end of this thing i don't know maybe he's gonna get up to three and a half to four mil keeping in mind this is only 55 percent, right so i think this guy would be really powerful rainbow just purely from the stats that you're going to get to his defense i think are going to be a really huge help on this guy i don't think any of you i'm not definitely not suggesting that any of you go out and like try to rainbow this guy um just let him come to you on banners he's going to be unfeatured on like every banner so i wouldn't stress about it let's go ahead sure let's pop gogeta here that way we can uh 
Yeah, that way we can heal up and then we'll have Scouter for a few turns. And then I potentially could like try to put him in harm's way. So like, I don't know how much damage Gogeta is going to take here, but let's say Gogeta gets hit and it puts us below 59%. Then we could see what Goku looks like with the damage reduction later in a fight. Or we could see what he looks like without the damage reduction and see how much damage we take, right? So I think having the Scouters here is very nice though, just for that reason. To see what we can do. All right. I don't mind wiping this this Goku off the face of the earth here, because now we'll for sure get to a full phase. That's kind of why I went crazy with the active skills there. Kind of want to just get by this phase, get to a harder phase of Goku. Yep, so that now we can kind of really see what this uh, heart virus Goku is going to look like here defensively. All right. Uh, where's the super attack coming? Hopefully not slot three. All right, we got a super attack coming in slot two. So we are going to test that. So defensively, all right, 150k defense right now, but, or no, sorry, 133k defense, which is about where we were before. Now, we do not have damage reduction. Now, I don't think Vegito's going to take damage from normals here. So we're going to see him take a super without the damage reduction here, most likely. So we'll see what that looks like, and then we're going to keep an eye on the attack stat as well. And then next turn, maybe I'll try to take more damage, because, I mean, I am going to be able to see where the super attack is. So I might be able to calculate it in a way to get below 59%. All right, 2.7. So yeah, the attack stat is creeping up there at a pretty decent pace, actually. All right, all right. Let's see how much damage. This should be a decent little chunk because no damage reduction. So it'll probably put us below 59%. 180, pretty close. We need to take a little bit more damage, actually, I think. We need to take a little bit more damage. So next turn, hopefully we get the super attack in a good spot where I can just put some unit in front of it where I know we're not going to get killed, but still take some damage here. All right, so where is it coming? No super attack, eh? Um, Super Vegeta, if we put Super Vegeta in slot one, he is going to take damage because he isn't very defensive until after he supers. I'm going to try not to grab any same type orbs here uh, to prevent from healing. All right, I think this might do it. Let's see what Vegeta's going to take from a normal here. Okay, 18k. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think that did just put us below 59%. So I think that's right where we need to be. All right, so hopefully next turn, I can get Goku in front of a super attack. Although I think Gogeta's passive is going to be out by then. It might still be up. We'll, we'll have to check. But if we see a super attack, I'm definitely going to put Goku in front of it to see how well we can take it. So honestly, like... Goku's defensively better in his later situation because he's getting extra defense with the damage reduction. It's just not as convenient because you have to be lower on health, which you don't want to have to be, right? Oh, perfect. This couldn't have been more perfect. So we're not getting defense support, but we can put Goku in slot one. Only 100k defense, but we have the damage reduction now. So let's go ahead. And we're going to get the Dokkan attack. That's fine. I just got to make sure not to heal at all. I don't want to touch any healing orbs. All right. I think we've got damage reduction here. So let's see how this works. Yup. Yup. Let's see. And this Goku does hit pretty hard. And I think we'll call this the last turn. This is a good way to finish. What are we going to take here? Yeah. 25k. That definitely was damage reduction. Because with only 100k defense, that would have done like 150 to 200k. So we definitely saw the damage reduction. So... As you see, he can be useful in a longer event. It's just you got to understand where the HP is at and where you can put him, right? So anyways, guys, let me know what you think of this Heart Virus Goku. I think he's a fantastic unit. Um, you just got to think of him more as a defensive unit, not an offensive unit. Um, thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys all in the next one.